The shitstorm of radiation from Fukushima is on the way. The government says there's nothing to worry about, that the radiation is going to be in such minuscule amounts that it will have no effect on our oceans, on our food supply, and on us. But are we really going to believe the government? Right now, 300 tons of radioactive seawater are spilling into the ocean every day from Fukushima. The Japanese government is covering up just how bad Fukushima is. I don't think they have any clue how to stop it, much less reduce the amount of radioactive waste that's getting in the water. Agencies all over the world are raising the acceptable levels of radiation exposure as much as 3,000% and telling us there's nothing to worry about. Really? Contaminated seafood migratory species such as tuna have already shown significant levels of radiation and they're at the top of the food chain. Fishermen like this, the guys behind me, it's their livelihood that depends on being able to get good quality safe seafood out of the oceans. Right behind me is the San Onofre nuclear power plant here in California. And here we've got problems of our own. They recently shut this plant down, but it's still full of spent fuel rods and any kind of disaster like Fukushima could unleash a radioactive nightmare on California. Very recently, 2,000 sea lions like this washed up dead on the shores of Southern California. Independent tests showed that their organs had a significant level of radiation, but the people of San Onofre say nothing happened. One of the best places to check for residual radiation, the collection of particles, is here in the local seaweed. So we're just about a mile off the shore of San Onofre. We're gonna test this. We're gonna go out and explore everything from the inland food supply, what's happening to the cattle, what's happening to the farms, what's happening to the Pacific coast, all the way up and down, and even what's happening back east. We're gonna get some straight answers about how much radiation we're actually subjected to and who's telling us the truth and who's lying.